Let our quarter is fine, people. We have a limit on how many times we can say Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Unbox. Uh, this is a platform where we try to have some real authentic conversations on everything, you know, cultural, social, and whatever else is in between. Uh, today we are talking about the N-word and whether it should be completely abolished in light of um, the conversation that's began to be happening around uh, the Kendrick Lamar incident. Uh, so do we all know what happened or should I go through a little bit of a recap? Okay. Should I, all right. Kendrick Lamar was performing in Alabama, I believe, and a, he brought on a fan, a white fan, she was, I think, a 13-year-old girl, um, to sing a, a, a song along with him. Uh, the song is called Mad City. Uh, it's like one of the most inward laden songs out there right now. Um, and she started to say it as she was singing, um, and he stopped her and asked her to stop saying that word. Um, and she said, okay, I, I won't do it. And then she, he, they started the song again, and then she said it, and then at that point, she, the crowd was booing her, it was a mess, and he just uh, cut everything off. So, yeah, it sparked a lot of debate. You know, people were coming at him saying that he shouldn't have, um, he set her up, it was a trap. Um, whereas other people were saying, well, she shouldn't have been saying in, this, in, in, in the first place. I read an article in Variety magazine where someone was making an argument that the N-word should be removed from rap as a whole because it's, you know, it's not... Uh, <laughs> that's new. I, I just let me finish my... I, we'll get to it. You know, people were saying uh, that, that the N-word should be removed from rap because there's not really a need for it. And it's just, you know, the, the whole idea that the intention behind it was to for black people to take it back and to, you know, make it into a positive thing. Obviously that's not happening because um, that's what the argument is being made. It's not happening because when uh, it still has this like negative effect when it's, you know, not even not used in the right context. So the argument that the writer was making was that just just take it out all the way and we'll, we'll all be fine. So what do we think? Like should it be should it be abolished? Should it be huh? Who wrote the article? A white person? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> First of all, that article was written by a white person, so I don't know how much we should say it. Uh, no, I think with taking back the word, it just is something that is for us. We have nothing for us to have to ask for a single word. We're not even asking for Africa. We're asking for a word, right? And so. I just, I, I think it's one of those things that other people can't have. Why can't we have something for us? I think it's so much simpler than that, man. I think it's so infinitely simple. You don't walk up to a random person and call them a derogatory name. Like, that's just... As like a base group. As a base, yeah. just like as a human being. Sure. But the context, right? Like, do you right. feel, do you feel right. the context that you I know? understand. Because you can use a derogatory term, mm -hmm. like, in an endearing way. I can, like, call Tunji, like, a SHIT head. But like we're brothers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that like he's not gonna No, I understand, I understand. But the basic premise is the same. Now when you <laughs> when you look at the N-word and all of the uh, all of the historical context, I don't know why, especially as a white person, as a white person, not, I'm not talking about like maybe Mexicans or like other Spanish people. I'm talking as a white person, why like Knowing what the historical context of that word is, like what makes you want to see it? Like I, I just don't, don't understand. Us. The core thing is that they don't value us as other human beings. If you that have respect, if you respect other people, if I know not to say certain words to other people, whether it be in a song, whether it be in like movies, whatever it is, whether I think it's cool to say it or not, if I know to respect that person, if I know to respect a group of people then I wouldn't say those things, right? Exactly, 100%. But anti-blackness and racism is so global that people have no respect for black people. So to say that it should be taken out of, you know, songs as, again, to take our right to say the, the word, something that we have, right? And something, like, something that still, you know, feels like it hurts when it comes from another person, right? So we don't even have total control of that word. 
So why is it now that we have to give up this thing that we feel so like it's, it belongs to us? Why do we have to give it up because white people can't control themselves? Yeah, I yeah, just want to actually add on to that because I feel like if you're saying that we can no longer say the N word and it can't be featured in rap songs or in articles or any other like media, it's essentially saying that we should erase the traumatic history related to that particular word, mm-hmm. you know, because white people or other people are uncomfortable with it, you know. And then we were talking about anti blackness existing in other minority cultures as well. You don't find black people people calling, you know, Chinese and Japanese people excuse the language, but that's the case, you know, because we already respect that, you know, there's a traumatic history related to that word mm-hmm. and that we should not use it out of respect for another human being. Yeah. But then now when white people do the same thing to us and then suddenly like saying, no, 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 we should forget the history aligned to that. That's just disrespectful. It comes from a different place when they say it. Exactly. I think it's, it's not just wrong, it's just also not practical and unrealistic. I mean, like the Edwards here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not going anywhere. It's like the, the like that's where it's, the N word is officially canceled. It's, it's, I mean, like, no, exactly. Like, how are you gonna get rid? It's been around for like you know hundreds of years. Like yeah. what? Like what? And like like we've done like like black people have done throughout history is like we've taken something that was meant to you know harm us and we flipped it and term, turned it into a term of endearment. Now, like obviously the N word still has a negative connotation, but I feel like we like in a weird way we. have done the best we can with the, with a bad situation because like I said the N-word's not going anywhere like it's so ingrained it, it's, it's here especially <laughs> in North American black culture the N-word is not going anywhere black people because I know there are black people who say that um, oh we shouldn't say it amongst ourselves like but, but like good for you you don't have to say it but it, like you're not going to influence the millions of black people in North America to use that word every day. And that, and honestly, the, the use of the word, uh, sorry, the use of the N-word has like spread globally. Now I hear like Africans referring to themselves as, yo, what's up my, you know? Yeah. And like people in London are doing the same thing. So at this point, like N-I-G-G-A is part of the black experience. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that part of the conversation is dead. Like, I, it's dead. like when you say North America, I also find that you know, I don't think it's just a North American thing. You can bring a, an African immigrant here. Yeah, I no, come from a, an African, like a, an immigrant family. And even though somebody in my family may not speak English, they still know what that word means. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. it's not just a North American thing. The the word still has a significant, it, it, the, the, the history behind it and like how bad it hurts when you're called that because it reminds you that you're not at the same level as everybody else. You're not at the same playing sure. field, right? And so, yes, it's it, it you know it's, it's it's constantly heard in North America, and like we understand at least in North America the, how the history and all of it. And other Black people still feel the repercussions of being told that they are that word, right? Sure. And so, a it's up to a Black person if they want to say it or not. They do experience the word, the world as that, right? But for other non-blacks, whether it be white, no, whatever, non-black, whatever it be, not only should they not say it, but at the same time, we shouldn't be told whether to remove it from rap music yeah. or not. That's not their place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I kind of, I don't know if my take is like different, but like, I don't really like like the word like at all. Just because like the way I've experienced it growing up is totally like, it's not something that I like want to relive through. And I don't think that people who are not black that do use a word like, it's like a different kind of like, they, from like their perspective, I would say that they would use it because in like low key, in a very subliminal sense, I think they do value black people like a lot because it's like the culture. You want to say it because you think it's cool. But like in that sense, it's totally like ignorant. And like, I don't think they accept that. Like I feel like people who do use the word that don't go through the black experience think, this is my way of appreciating it. But obviously it's but wrong. Not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, right at all. No, I'm not saying it is right at all. But I'm saying if, like, I were to be someone on the other side and to be ignorant to, like, everyone else's, like, actual, like, black experience, this is what I would say. But, like, me, like, my personal opinion is, is just, like, no one is educated about the history of that word from a place where someone who is actually black, like, you see, like, high school teachers, all these other teachers, they're just, they're just, like, saying it, like, it's an inauthentic teaching. 
it's a supplementary supplementary teaching like it's just like an accessory so like in I know that it's the word is not gonna go away and like to me if I hear it come from anybody it triggers something in me because it's just like I cannot take the word I don't like it but like I do have like a tolerance for who does or does not use it when I went to Ghana like I visited some like slave trade castles and stuff so yeah. and like being put in the dungeons and like being told the stories of like how it went just to imagine like how someone would be called that word if they were like brought back to life now and like I feel like if they heard that word being used even as a term of endearment it would still scar them so much that's why I feel more of the pain from mm -hmm. the word rather than the transformation of this is now our culture, yeah. this is something we have taken back. Hold on, so, 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 so go ahead, because you have to say. Um, to be honest, I don't know what to say. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, do not use that word in me. I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white, I don't care if you're green, I don't care if you're yellow, I will flip. Why, why do you feel that way? Because of the history behind the name. Okay. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. My ancestors went through slave trade. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Relating to what um, Dolphin I was saying, some people think they can just say, big oh, book, my answer. Right. <laughs> you got four more. You got four more. You got four more. I just want to make sure everybody knows we got four more. Some people feel they can just say the N word uh -huh. because. They feel it's cool. Well, it's not cool to say it. I had someone say it to me at work. I had someone, and she thought she was trying to relate to the black culture. And I told so she her, wasn't black? No, she wasn't black. Ooh, and like, we had, a, we had a pretty good relationship, you know what I mean? Before that. Yeah. Before that, so she said it at work. And when she said it, mm. the person beside me was kind of like startled. And the person was like, what? What did you just call her? And, just, and she kept saying it. I said, you know what? Like. Do you, do you know the history behind this name? And this was our work. This is our work. And she, and she said wow. it. And I was like, do you know the history behind this name? And she's like, I don't know anything about it. I just think it's cool. I said, no, it's not cool. Oh. It's the lack of education. It's not cool. It, it's not yeah. even just that. It's like past ignorance. It is some people just genuinely, they don't see what the issue is because they hear it all around them all the time. Right. music, whatever. And it's celebrated as a word. And so I've had this conversation with people and it's just like, this word that they thought was negative, but everybody's using it in such a positive way. They're like, why can't I use it? And just kind of explaining that the people that used to say it to us, um, it's just if you hear it from someone now, because it was people, someone who's non-black saying it to someone who was black back then. It's like, we took that word, we changed it, we gave it some type of power in a positive light, so then we have the person who used to say it in a negative way telling it to you, it kind of has a negative effect. That's true. And just trying to explain that to people is hard. And so when they kind of see it in that way, they're like, okay, I get it, I was wrong. But then I don't want to, I, I'm not trying to defend, but I also don't want to attack every single person who says it without realizing the consequences of it. Like We can't just assume that everyone's good. Everyone knows that already. My thing, I, I, sorry, I just want to say that though, we can't always educate ourselves and not expect the same thing out of every, like other of other people. When we say, "Oh, it's just ignorance," oh, you know, gross in everybody, whatever. Mm -hmm. The extent of time or like how how long it takes us to grow doesn't necessarily mean we've learned, right? And so when we say what, whether we were in school, whether we were at work, and we hear somebody else say it, and you know, we say, you know, they were ignorant, and I can't like teach them. You don't have to. But that person has to be held accountable because we are in, in, a, in, a, in a society, in a, in a very, I would say, westernized, civilized, and loosely term, that you know you can Google, uh, you, you can use other resources, right? You can use so many things. That word globally is known that it's 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 harsh. It has meaning. So to, for somebody in North America to tell me that they've Oh, they didn't know that it meant something? I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, but here's the thing. Choice. It's a choice. For sure. But here's the thing. People now have differentiated between N-I-G-G-E-R and yeah. N-I-G-G-A. Yeah. And I know that when someone calls me that with the E-R, that's has. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care where I am. You gotta fight. Like, yeah. seriously, seriously, though. Like, yeah. that's has. I will always give someone around me the benefit of the doubt 
one time with the GA. And then I sit you down and I have a conversation. I'm like, yo, listen, I understand that you've probably heard me use this word many, many times with my black friends, but I personally do not want you using that word towards me. I don't want to hear the word come out of your mouth. Mm. I tell them explicitly so that if anything happens after that, I know it is in, like uh, intentional disrespect. Yeah. In class, two weeks ago on Friday, we did like a little dance party. A song was playing, this Australian girl, and word slipped out. I was like, mm, let me let it go. Following week, Thursday, we were rapping, she dropped it, but then the other white girl next to her was like, brother, and then kept going, and I was like, hold up, like, I, I was like, what? no. Like, last Friday I heard it, let us lie, like, what, she's like, it's just the lyric, like, I mean, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> I gotta say, that accent was so on point. I was like, <laughs> I didn't even know what to say, I was like, and, like, obviously she understands it, but she, like, switched it to be, like, brother, but, like, I People will test you. That's what I've learned. People will test you with that they do word. Know that they, know, they know. They know. They, know they will say it and they'll they'll look at you. They'll yeah, like, we know. Do that. Yeah. Don't shoot me. And I see that. I'm sorry. You never done that. We're supposed to come up in a song. They look. Yeah. They look. <laughs> So it feels like we're here to give, but we're not here to be respected like everybody else. So whether it be with the A, whether it be with the ER, why is it that you know we're not respected enough where other people, when other people know what it means, they're not you know being respectful. Whether it be in school, work, whatever it is, respect me enough like you respect everybody else. Because yeah. there's a derogatory term for every person in the world. Yes. So why are we the ones the always? Only ones. Ah, yeah. okay. not, okay. not, <laughs> but it has the heavier terminology, not the only ones. What I mean is that regardless, the, there's so many words. That's what I mean. There's so many words, you know, that affect us differently. Whether it being, you know, uh, your sexuality being at the end, whether it being you as a woman, whether it you being a black person, whatever it is, there are words. But for that word, pe black people have managed to take it out and use it as an endearment, you know, and we're still in that process too because there's some other black people that don't like it, like you guys, right? And it's acceptable, it's, it's up to every black person. But at the same time, we can't debate whether to use it or not. That's up to the black person. No other race should be able to say or tell us what to say and what to what not to say because it's up to us now. We're, we're I'm, I'm not your slave anymore, so you can't tell me what to do. Just for everybody who might be watching, if you have a black friend and they let you call them like the GA, <laughs> that's cool. Like I don't have a problem with that. But you can't be running up on random black people thinking that it's okay for everybody. Because we just found out there are two black people here who don't even like other black people say. You know what I mean? Three, four. <laughs> I, just just like a warning for everybody out there, like don't Everybody's be, different. Yeah, everybody's different just because maybe your friend lets you say it. Uh, that doesn't mean that every single black person is going to be okay with that. You might catch a, I don't know, you might catch a fit.